This is what's next. Tonight, heavy rain and storms continue to batter Northeast Ohio. The storms have been and are producing torrential rainfall, which means flooding in many areas. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. The weather causing all kinds of problems tonight in Willowick. An apartment parking deck has collapsed, sending several to the hospital. And there is widespread flash flood warnings in effect across Northeast Ohio. Heavy rain causing basement floodings. It's been shutting down roads. That's a picture of I-90 at McKinley Avenue. They were doing water rescues off of I-90. Uh, and it, that remains closed at this hour. And we have got team coverage for you this evening. That's right. Matt kicks us off with where the most severe weather continues at this hour. Yeah, Bets, we've had heavy rain, lightning, and some severe weather to boot with this. A very active evening across Northeast Ohio, and it continues. So the cells we're watching right now, right here, north of Sandusky, heading down into the areas of Erie, Huron County, back into Lorain County. That is a severe thunderstorm right now. You're under a warning for that. Another cell we're watching down towards Ashland County, stretching down into Worcester and areas of Wayne County. Two active cells with that. Everyone's seeing lightning tonight, but these are the most intense cells. Look at the lightning strikes coming into Erie County right now. At last check, this was five minutes ago, about 800 lightning strikes in the last 15 minutes. You've got heavy rain here as well. The part that's severe with this, there is a little gust of wind coming across the lake heading into Lorraine County now. That's been clocked anywhere from 50 to 60 miles per hour, so we could see some strong winds approaching the turnpike there. He's then eventually down towards Oberlin. Heavy rain stretches down towards Lorraine County and then eventually into Medina County as well. Lodi getting hit hard. You can see some of the heavy rain and lightning as you get down towards the Medina area. The another big cell that we have. Look at the lightning with this one. This is Worcester in there if you can see it stretching back into Wayne County and Southern Ashland County. Loudonville heads up. You're probably hearing the rumbles of thunder. That cells packing a punch with lots of lightning and wind and heavy rain. Cleveland getting a break from the severe stuff. We've got general rainfall, but the damage has been done with the heavy rain with that. We're getting a break as you get down towards the Akron Canton area. Just a moderate rainfall, occasional lightning strikes that will keep you awake tonight. There's some loud ones. Then we have additional storms down towards areas near Dover, New Philly. But the main damage with this isn't really the severe side, although we need to keep an eye on it. It's how much rain we've had, a copious amounts of rainfall. Betsy Kling picks up the story from there. These are some of the most intense rain producing storms I have seen in years. The last thing I hearken back to is the 2006 flood in Painesville. Uh, that is a historic flood. So I don't know that we're quite to that level yet, but we are getting a lot of rain already on radar. We've picked up about four inches of rain or so across northern sections of Lorain County. Everything you see here in the bright green, that is a flash flood warning. Some of these flash flood warnings are even what are called considerable, and that means we start to tiptoe into life threatening situations, which we we have had all of the damage reports from this evening so far showing up here. Uh, there is basement flooding. They've been doing water rescues off of I-90 as mentioned, and it all continues to unfold because of course the rain is still coming down and that means the flood water is still coming up. The heaviest rain right now is west of I-77 and that will continue to float from north to south, but we are likely to see this rain spreading back across most of northern Ohio to begin the day tomorrow. It's not the duration of the rain. It is the duration of the rain and the intensity of the rain. And tonight it has been all about the incredible intensity of these rain producing storms that have been coming in. Where you see the purples and the whites, that is in excess of two inch per hour rain rates. And we've been getting it wave after wave after wave. Russ, that has been causing major problems tonight, especially when you put that very heavy rain on urban environments where we just cannot, uh, you know, soak up that water. It all runs off it or it gets held.